Today, I'm sharing with you guys three viral transitions that you guys can use inside of your Instagram reels, YouTube videos, whatever type of content you're making. You could use these effects in your edits. And the main reason you guys really wanna be like using these transitions is just to keep the viewer engaged longer so that way the viewer retention is a lot better. But also transitions are great for just really progressing the edits. But if you guys don't know me, my name is Chris Wistead. I run the Takeover Shop where so editing assets and presets for content creators just like you to edit better and and faster. And this holiday season, I'm actually running tons of flash sales on the Takeover Shop. So go ahead, check out the link down below. Save money and save time editing. Okay, so first transition. What? <laughs> Okay, so first transition is gonna be the camera blur sort of transition. And the way you guys wanna go ahead and do it is you wanna go to new item over here and get a new adjustment layer. Hit okay, and then drag and drop the adjustment layer onto your transition uh, or where you want the transition to be. And then we're gonna just cut it to about six frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six frames. And we're gonna go back three and we're just gonna move the third one into the middle. And this transition's really, really clean simply because like it really does mimic like a true camera sort of blur effect, which is awesome. The way you wanna do it is you wanna go to uh, the effects tab, type in Gaussian blur. It'll pop up just like so, drag and drop. And then we're gonna go keyframe. We're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna move it to zero. In the middle, we're just gonna crank it up like so. And then in the end, we're just gonna bring it back. And then you guys, I'm just gonna render this out for you guys. For you to, and then it'll look like this. For, for you to, so like, honestly, it really hides your cut really, really well. And to me, it just looks super, super clean. So feel free to use that transition in your reels. Second transition is actually a very simple transition that you guys can do. It's uh, actually called the overlay transition. And there's many different forms of the overlay transition. You guys could go ahead, look up film burns, CRT transitions, honestly, just anything that overlays in between two clips, like a flash or something like that is considered an overlay transition. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use an overlay transition. So you guys could honestly type in overlay transitions, or you guys can go down in the description and check out my free takeover starter kit. It's gonna include the takeover transition and just like so. You wanna drag and drop this onto your footage and then throw it into the middle between the two and then select it, go to the opacity right here, normal, but you wanna set it to screen and then there you go. Play it through. Or for you to, or for you to, and then there you go. You guys have a overlay transition effect. Now this could be anything that you guys want it to be. Just get creative or find creative assets and just make sure it looks really clean, really good. And then at number three, this one's a little bit of a saucy transition and it's called the rotoscope slide whip transition. Um, honestly, I have no clue what it's called, but essentially use rotoscoping to uh, merge two clips together if that makes sense so i'm gonna i'm gonna share with you guys how i would do it so let's go ahead and get the second clip you want to duplicate the second clip just like so because this is going to be the one that we're actually going to rotoscope but i'm actually going to push this footage back just like that so that way we have some overlap with the actual transition right here now i'm just going to go ahead and cut this just because it'll be easier for you guys to see what's going on and then you, now you guys would actually rotoscope so if you guys don't have this uh keeper plugin it's mac only and it is paid well worth the money um you guys could go to after effects and key it out or you guys could go to cap cut and key it out as well um just you're gonna have to look at different tutorials for how to do that which by the way if you want to look at this one it's my buddy brian dalamata he teaches you how to rotoscope really really well inside of after effects so i'm just going to go ahead change it to subject and then as you guys can see we have the overlay going on right now now I'm going to go over here to transform or actually to take over preset pack, but you guys type in transform and it'll be there. It's just the only catch with mine is that the use compositions shutter is unchecked. So that way we have motion blur, but I'm just going to actually set a keyframe right here, actually right on the transition point, just like so, because we want this to be in the same spot as over here. So we want to just make sure that keyframe set to the original state. And then we could just drag this to the side, just like this. And then we'll have like a little bit of a slide sort of effect. So as you can see, it's gonna slide in just like so, and then it's gonna like match together. For you to, just like that. For, for you. For, now that's probably a little bit too fast maybe, so we could play with the timing of it. Just like that. For, for you. There we go. And maybe we could even overlay this as well, just for an extra frame. Were you 
that looks really really clean now if you guys want to go a step further you could go to temporal interpolation on the keyframes go to bezier and play with the velocity i'm just going to do something maybe like this and we're just going to render it out so you guys can watch and see how it looks or are you and then there you go so this isn't the best example simply because like the clips look so similar like it doesn't really look good but on clips where like the the footage is a little bit different this really does look pretty clean so that is the third and last effect but let's go ahead and show you guys a bonus of all of these effects together and see how well they look when you stack the effects on top of each other so i'm just gonna go ahead drag the transition overlay just like so effects controls Go to screen then i'm going to go ahead add an adjustment layer adjustment layer just like that then i actually have a preset made for this one so we're going to go over here i'm going to grab the camera blur hunt transition right here and then i'm just going to drag and drop it onto everything then we're going to render it out and see how it looks all together okay that low key looks tough not gonna lie <laughs> let's see we'll play with it a little bit maybe we actually throw the takeover burn on top I think it's because this is like super quick so it should be something like this there we go looks a lot better so anyways guys that is three different viral transitions that you guys can go ahead and try in your next coming up reels and if you guys use these transitions feel free to let me know tag me on instagram and i'll be sure to leave a comment and show some support but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video remember i am running a holiday sale this season so go ahead save some money, save some time editing. Remember, take action and take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.